on air, online, on your side. You're watching KGUN 9 News. Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. Today, the University of Arizona will introduce Tommy Lloyd as its new men's basketball head coach. Lloyd comes to Tucson from Gonzaga, where he served as assistant coach for 20 years. He will be introduced at a news conference at the McKell Center at 1.30 today. To the Lady Wildcats now, Arizona basketball star Ari McDonald has gone from a local star to a household name. And later on today, she will hear her name called in the WNBA draft. McDonald is projected as a top five selection. Well, make sure to stay with us online and on our social media platforms for updates throughout the day. We will be following both Coach Lloyd's news conference plus the WNBA draft all right here on KGUN 9. In education today, state lawmakers are wanting to make some changes to sex education roles in schools. A new bill would require schools to get parents permission for discussions about gender identity and sexual orientation. The proposal would also require schools to get parents to sign off on their children learning about historical events involving sexual orientation. Critics of the bill say parents already have those rights and conservatives are just pushing back on social changes they don't like. The Vail Unified School District has voted to send a letter to the governor and state senators in hopes of getting more financial help. This after schools got funds to help with programs for learning gaps, but some got much less than others. Vail got about $1.7 million so far. The district says its summer school program alone will use up about a third of those funds. For the Tucson Unified District, it's full steam ahead for summer school signups. The district says the learning gaps during the pandemic made this option more important than ever. The classes will address some of those issues and speed up student progress in a non-traditional way. Let's take a look at your forecast. Dry weather will continue through Saturday with near normal temps and afternoon breeziness each day. There's a chance of showers east of Tucson Saturday night into Monday, then some drier conditions and above normal temps return by the middle of next week.